Okay, guys and girls, I'm showing you this website for a good reason. All right, the website is amazingstill.com slash the hyphen part slash. And there's a model of how to make a distiller, uh, essentially a glorified solar still. You've got an outer bucket with an inner bucket inside. The uh, stuff on the inside is heated by a what looks like a f uh, fish pond or fish tank uh, immersion heater, which heats the mash and after a couple of days you start to get you know a usable quantity of alcohol being produced but it is a question of days rather than anything else okay so that's basically what it was um, all about uh, I've had a look at the free ebook which they're providing and I'm going to quickly show you um, a few images here very quickly just so you get a bit of a feel as to what this particular still design is Remember, for uh, a reliable, uh, you know, a, a reliable 95%, you actually need something bigger than this. You need to have a fractional column distillation. This one does not provide fractional distillation. That is essentially the plan. If you understand, force bottom alcohol condenses, and then you got your condensate there and your bucket will be closed with a lid on the top of it, just like a solar still, basically. And then it takes days to get the results. Okay, uh, so your first run with one of these after many days won't provide you with tons and tons of alcohol of a very high strength. You'd have to have a couple of runs over many, many, many days to give you what you require. But it looks like it is very simple, very cheap, and something which anybody can make. So that's just um, a bit of an idea for some of you people who want to try and make stills on the cheap. I have not experimented with one of these things. Uh, I am a believer in, let me just close that down, uh, in a fractional distillation column method because I think that that one works more reliably. But anyway, that's some information for you for those of you who want to explore that side of things. And it is proof that people on a very low budget can still uh, actually distill their own alcohol, okay?